digging for lugworm. Is the final cast, and then the hole is there. So somewhere between that hole and that cast, under that sand, is that lugworm. He just matched the casts up to the hole. Like there's another one. So somewhere between those two, in this little shape, is those lugworm. There is another one. I'll pause this now and then I'll back again. So we have those three holes. I think I got two. And they're all right size. But there's plenty to be doing on this beach. The only thing is when it comes to the holes, you just gotta backfill them in. Oh, look. There's a little ragworm swimming back in. There's loads of little white rags in here as well. Yeah. The tide's fully out at 7 o'clock. About 6 now. Giving up around the corner. And then fill up another tub or two. Just my gut area. They're all right, you know. Dogfish, flatfish, pollock, bass. And, uh, they'll all do. They'll all do. Ooh. So yeah, I'll bring it back if I find that interesting. So, roughly a tub of them. Um, process them. Salt. And then wrap them up, leave them in a, in a fridge. Well, not wrap them up, leave them sitting in salt. Till I need them. Just got a white rag in there. Not many. Maybe 20 max. Uh, yeah. Oh, now. About an hour and a half digging that. An hour and a half. That's that. Uh, here they are. All cleaned out. Cleaned off, should I say. You know, um, left drying on a magazine. A little magazine, might add. No newspapers, doesn't matter. It all absorbs the moisture off. Yeah. Kitchen roll, tissue, doesn't matter. Get that excess moisture off them, you know. You can see them drying up. Once I have this one done, oh, they're all sticking to it. Um, yeah, once I have this one, I'm gonna put them into a tub of table salt, and that will keep them as fresh as fresh as can be. Whereas if you freeze them. They turn shitty, you know. Everyone knows. You like you go into a fishing shop, you buy these, you get them down to the beach. It's dark at night even, you know, you're doing night fishing. And it's all fiddly and mushy and this, that and the other. You cover them these in salt. And that's covered in salt, it'll do the same thing, it'll seize up and it'll tighten. Whereas if you freeze something, freeze anything, it breaks down the cells, whether it's fruit or vegetables you've grown, fish you've caught, you can freeze and refreeze and refreeze and refreeze these, you know, breaks down. Whereas if you have the salt, you bring out the tub, you don't use them all, grand, back into the salt, back home, back out the next day, back out six days later, back out six months later, doesn't matter. You can keep adding them and adding them and adding them. Eventually, I will have one of these full of oh, these bad boys. But for now, I'm just using one of these little Chinese tubs. And then look at all that yellow gill and all that tissue. But uh, 
what fish is going to turn its nose up to that? You know, none. Not one. Not one. Bass, flounder, dogfish, smooth hounds, codling, whiting, ray, you name it, you know, you'll get them all of that. Um, oh, here Fuck off, whoever that is. Right, so I'm happy enough with that moisture going off there. Straight into the salt, no fucking about. Tiny bit of sand on them, but you know, it's not much, it's the best I could do. By the way, you don't wash them off with fresh water, you know. You, when you're down the beach and you're digging them up, make sure you've got it again. A one litre bottle, two litre bottle, depending on the many you have. Leave them soaking in the salt water. Tricky little buggers. Any old table salt will do, by the way. Yeah, I was in super value. I got my salt in super value. 60 cent a tub. A bottle. You know, you can't go wrong. If you go to little or deals, you get it even cheaper, I'm sure. But, uh, just need a tiny little one. Well, you know, flounder. Saves the day, you don't get a bank, even a ras, you know, you tangle that off a rock, you'll get the ras coming up from them. So I'll just give you a, a, a closer look on this one. You know, so I think I'm gonna need more salt. I'm gonna need a bigger boat. Lovely. Are you getting all this now, eh? Tricky with one hand, but you know, it's alright. Yeah, uh, actually, a bit more, you know. It's not like I need this salt for that now. It's Once I have this done, I'm happy with that now. Pop the lid on these into the fridge till whenever, you know. Next week, six weeks, six months. Um, I don't, I'm not even sure how long these last, but a long time, you know. A long time. It's better than freezing them, that's for sure. Anyone that gets ragworm, lugworm from the bait shops, you know, you tell you it's fresh in and it's not fresh in. Yeah, sure. A little bit more, you know, never hand. Um, yeah, as I said, put the lid on these into the fridge and that's it. I don't have to worry about it. Uh, and this is coming in. What the fuck's that in the fridge? I don't have a missus. And even if I did, she'd get used to it, I'm sure. I'm smelling this phone instead of my hand. <laughs> Smell that. Lovely. I think it's fair to say that uh, they're well solved. I mean, you know, they're like he's tough as nails there, he's tough as nails. Um as you can see, like you know, from the other videos I have on these uh, it's now about two hours since I was down the beach 
and got these out. Um, so within two hours, yeah, salted and into the fridge. So uh, let me know what you think anyway. Uh, bye for now. See you next time.